generally speaking, um, it's crushed. There's tomato sauce. After that, um, mushrooms, olives. You could do arugula. And you could do some sausages if you wanted to. And you probably do a variety of cheeses. How do you make dough? The way you make pizza dough is the same way you make any other yeast dough. Pizza dough is generally speaking a yeast product. And these are packets of yeast. And basically what you do is you take flour, water, and yeast. And depending on what else you're doing, you can put in some other ingredients such as olive oil, eggs for some people. It depends on the person and what they want to use. That's, and you have to remember yeast is a microorganism, so it goes in a certain temperature range. You get your water too hot, you kill it, and you don't get the growth. You get it too cold, it just takes longer for it to grow. So it, has to, it goes within a certain temperature range. So it's a living microorganism, just like people are living and bleeding. So it needs certain conditions for growth. So that will be your first thing, will be your dough. So basically, wheat flour, yeast, water, salt. Acid and bases, it has to do with pH. Things that are acid are generally speaking 4.6 and a little lower. Things that are base, well, 7, pH 7 and below are acid, 7 and above are basic. Things like tomatoes, you usually consider those to be acid. Things like uh, spinach, um, eggplant, those are considered to be more neutral, basically. Things like milk are more neutral pH. Uh, generally, most sauces are made with tomatoes, and tomatoes are generally considered to be acidic. So, depending on what else you put in it, as to what your pH is going to be. Cheese provides is a good source of calcium. It's also depending on what kind of cheese you use, a good source of fat. So it's not one you stuff you want to put a lot of on it. Mm -hmm. Lemon juice would make milk what we call curdle, which means you're going to put on plums. Kind of like making buttermilk or yogurt. Mm -hmm. You reduce the pH and you're precipitating out casein, which is one of the proteins, and causes your product to curdle, such as if you were making yogurt or sour cream or cheese. Most proteins we think about, we think about the meat group, the dairy group, as well as the legumes. Healthiest type of pizza would probably start with a whole wheat crust, which means it has at least some whole wheat flour in it. Probably less tomato sauce, less cheese, and more, fruit, more vegetables, and more juice fruit. Pizza can really be whatever you want to make it to be, if you want to make your own. There are no, once you get past the dough, there are not any real rules as to what goes on the pizza and what doesn't. So you can make it as healthy or unhealthy, I suppose, as you want to be.